Hi, Jason here. Today's guide will be about DDTs and how to deal with them. Enjoy! DDTs are high tier mom class balloons with 400 HP, camel balloon properties, and possess lead and black balloon types. Their speed is also relative to a ceramic balloon, making them really fast. DDTs come out at round 90, 93, 95, and 99. The round 90 and 93 DDTs are pretty easy to deal with, but the main thing is round 95, which has 30 DDTs spaced out with a ton of fortified MOABs, and round 99, which has straight up fortified DDTs. DDTs are also known as New Player's Nightmares because of their camo, resistance to attacks, and speed. Because of the half of the attacks that affect lead balloons in this game are explosions, just to slap it in the new player's face, DDTs are also black balloons. Woo! So let's start with these towers. These are our towers that I think are the best against DDTs. We have the Prince of Darkness, the Perma Spike, and the Ice Cream Impale. The DDT's main strength is its speed, so in these two towers case, their attacks basically exist on the track, so the speed got nothing on them. And in the case of the Ice Cream Impale, this guy can slow all balloons to a grinding halt, letting your other towers do extra damage to them, and also doing a fair amount of damage itself. In the second group over here, we have the Archmage, the Preemptive Strike, and the Ground Zero. These towers are pretty good against DDTs generally, but you might want to think about it before you actually get them. The Archmage does really good mob damage, but kinda sucks against Super Cerams and kinda sucks against the Round 99 Fortified DDTs. The Preemptive Strike basically kills all the DDTs with its passive ability, dealing 700 damage to all blimps that spawn, but against the Round 99 Fortified DDTs, which have 800 or something health, this guy basically does nothing because the base attack of him is shit. The Ground Zero is only an ability that kills all the DDTs on the screen, and if the map is not long enough, this ability has a really long downtime and does basically nothing. But enough about raw DDT popping power, what if you want your defense right now to destroy DDTs? Well, now let's talk about some support and utility towers that will make your DDT destroying career a lot simpler. First we have the MIB Village, this guy is always pretty useful to get if you want to face DDTs because it grants all sorts of popping power. One tower that is surprisingly pretty bad against DDTs is this guy, the main MOAB, because DDTs are classified as a high class MOAB class balloon. Well, that's a lot of classes I just said. Um, the stun only lasts a few seconds on DDTs, and because DDTs usually come in swarms, this guy is not very good. On the contrary, consistent slows such as the mob glue is really, really good because, yeah, you're basically taking away DDT's main strengths, the speed. If you want to go even farther with the slow, you can always go for the sky, a balloon sabotage. The ability basically slows all the balloons on the screen to half speed, making all your towers do great damage to it. And because it's in a full screen ability, very consistent, maybe even better than the mob glue. And lastly, here are some strategies that kind of suck against DTs. If you main this strategy, you'd most likely want a tower that I just mentioned in this video. Um, we have Pat Zone, After Our Fraff, Sub Spam, and of course Apache Prime. That's about it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and Jason out.